What is up YouTube? Sayyid here. Well today I'll be showing you my top 10 things that an iOS 7 can do uh, but an Android uh, 4.3 can't. So here I'll be showing you the difference between the stock Android 4.3 stock not rooted not not anything and stock version of iOS 7 also. So I'm taking here both the stocks that are respectively provided by their uh, companies i am not creating a fanboy war here or showing that ios is greater and android is less uh, i'll be making a video also showing you the top 10 things that an stock android 4.3 is able to do whereas an ios 7 won't be able to do so do subscribe me if you want to watch that video and if you like this video please do share it with your friends and family without further ado let's get on with the video So the first feature that I'll be discussing about is related with the multitasking. As you know that Android had the true multitasking feature for a long time and iOS 7 has brought also the true multitasking and in a great manner. You can see here that I'm launching my applications to show you uh, as you know that in Android 4.3 stock Android you have to close each application one by one by just swiping it but here in ios 7 you can close two applications at the same time or even three or four applications at the same time so closing of application is has been fast had become faster in ios 7 when compared to android the stock android 4.3 the second feature that I'll be talking about is the apps compatibility. For example, uh, there are many applications that are available on Android and the same applications are available for iOS devices also. So as you can see, I have Google Drive installed on my iPhone 5 right now. And also there are other applications like Google Now, uh, Gmail, Google Plus. These are Google Android platform apps that are also available on your iOS platform so by using an iOS I can also use and utilize the applications that are available on my Android device also the third feature that I'll be talking about is the copy and paste functionality in your social feed for instance if you have Twitter Facebook or even Google Plus and you you want to just copy a tweet or copy a quote or even copy of friends Facebook status you will be launching an application going into the twitter feed and you want to copy this tweet just tap and hold and copy option appears just tap and copy launch your notes application and you can just copy the tweet of uh, your friend or even anyone else but on uh, android 4.3 you won't be able to do it stock android 4.3 you won't be able to do this copy and paste of your uh, social feed the fourth feature that I'll be talking about is uh, tapping on the status bar. If you want to go instantaneously towards the top of your page, you have to just uh, tap on your status bar as you can see here on my settings application and I'll be showing you on my Twitter app also. I just want to uh, go into my top tweet, top area of the page, top option of the page. You just have to tap on the status bar and you will be taken towards the topmost of your page this isn't available in android 4.3 the fifth feature that i'll be talking about is relative the charging as you know that i device charges much faster than uh, all the android devices currently android devi devices available for instance if i keep my phone uh, for five minutes it gives you around 10 percent of the charge or even 15 percent and this has been introduced with the software optimization of ios uh, in your i devices so that you can have a better charge uh, the phone in less time the sixth feature that i'll be talking about is uh, retrieve the burst shot with the implementation of iOS 7, burst shot has been introduced uh, to the iDevices. For instance, if you want to take multiple shots at the same time, you just have to click and hold the camera option available. And as you can see, you can take multiple shots at the same time. Whereas on stock Android 4.3, you won't you won't be able to take it. You just have to if you want to take a picture, you just have to click it to take a picture on stock android 4.3 so it's not available the burst shot mode is not available in stock android 4. 
the seventh feature that I'll be talking about is uh, the multiple folder multiple application folder for instance on Android 4.3 you get a limited uh, amount of uh, application that should be kept in a folder but with iOS 7 you can have multiple applications uh, in one folder and uh, you can keep as many applications as you want but in Android 4.3 you can just keep only 18 applications in a folder but on in iOS 7 you can have uh, multiple applications in one folder the eighth feature that I'll be talking about is uh, the blocking of calls in iOS 7 you can block calls or even messages uh, that you want to uh, ignore if you want to ignore someone you can just block it but in Android 4.3 you won't be able to do it cause it's not implemented in the system no doubt you can install an application and block the caller but in iOS 7 it's built in so it's not available in Android 4.3 stock Android 4.3 the ninth feature that I'll be talking about is Retrieve with the Do Not Disturb. As you know that it's not available in iOS stock Android 4.3, but it's available in iOS 7 also, and it has been available since iOS 6. So this has to be in implemented in Android for better. The last or tenth feature that I'll be talking about is Retrieve with the OTA over the air updates. As you know that with the release of iOS 7, some of the devices are supported and uh, some of them are not. For instance, uh, the iOS 7 has been supported from iPhone 4 and up. So in Android, it lacks uh, this functionality which is known as fragmentation. So in Android, fragmentation is still there and it has to be corrected as the older devices won't get a uh, latest version of android you have to just root your device it's not available in terms of stock whereas in pure nexus devices it's available for pure nexus devices only so so these were my top 10 features of ios 7 that isn't available in android stock android 4.3 so hope you guys like my video, find my video helpful, please do comment, subscribe, hit the like button and if you have any questions please do ask me in the comment section below and also if, uh, if in some areas if I am wrong please do correct me and uh, please do like this video, share this video with your friends and family till then I will be seeing you in my next video.